Hey, this is Mike with Christian Meds. This week I just want to talk a little bit about sin, so let's get started. So one of the things when it comes to being a Christian is people trying to clean themselves up and make themselves in right standing with God in some form by basically fighting, trying to fight sin in their lives. You know, and when you start looking at church history, you see just huge amounts of literature all written up on this and lists of rules and do's and don'ts. And it gets to be a point where it just becomes crushing to somebody's soul if you really try to do what everybody says is a sin and try to get that cut out of your life and all that. Which I think we've completely missed the point with what Jesus did on the cross for us. You know, what truly the gospel is all about. You know, what we're looking at is we're looking at basically with Christ going to the cross, and dying for us, living a sinless life, you know, and proving that he could fulfill the law because he is deity and he was able to accomplish without flaw the things that we cannot accomplish. And he said, all you have to do is trust in me and through my love and mercy I can put you in right standing. But all you got to do is have faith in me. And it's a free gift, not a gift plus words. And the reason why is because so much of it is about when we try to do things where we're trying to fight sin, we end up trying to put God in our debt. And we can't put God in our debt. In other words, we don't ever want to be standing in front of God saying, but I was good. Because it comes down to what your definition of good is. You know. Is good perfect? Yeah, good is being perfect. And we're not going to be perfect. You know, David was flawed. Moses was flawed. You know, these people that are pillars in our faith are examples of flawed people, just like us. And they were put in right standing, just like we're put in right standing, through faith, love, and living out, you know, the fruits of the Spirit. Now, one of the big things that we really don't seem to ever get our head around as Christians is that it's not about sin. It's actually about construction and destruction. In other words, we are saying that the constructor of the universe allowed destruction to happen with beings that he wants to have part of his family. So in other words, when the fall happened, destruction happened. In other words, this, the, the payment for sin is death. Okay? So destruction is death. Okay? Construction is life. You know, he gave us life. He gives us the ability to make free will choices. And those free will choices matter. And those choices don't put us in right standing. What puts us in right standing is that Jesus resurrected off the cross. That resurrection move proved that even through a destructive act, he can still construct. He can still make eternal life from that act. And that is what we're relying upon as Christians. That's what we are absolutely saying when we say we are saved, that we are born again. That born again happens as a regeneration, but it also happens after our death. In other words, we get to regenerate and become in right standing because we trusted that he is the constructor, not the destructor. And we worship the the God of instruction, the God of order, the God of righteousness, the God of mercy, the God of love. And those are just some of my ideas this week.
just think it's just a beautiful message that we just need to take to heart. We worship a God that is not a destructive God, but a constructive God. A God that loves us and cares for us and wants us part of his family. So that's just my message this week. I hope you enjoyed it. And just have a blessed week.